coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Enstrom Helicopters declares bankruptcy. Dornier buys Flywheel. Hollywood plans another studio in space. Hello and welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Enstrom Helicopters declares bankruptcy. The Enstrom Helicopter Corporation has sent a letter to dealers and representatives announcing the end of continuous operations. The company has apparently seen lean times lately and its owners have directed the company to declare Chapter 7 bankruptcy. Enstrom will leave behind nearly 1,500 unsupported aircraft around the world. The bankruptcy is somewhat unsurprising to some as the often troubled company has changed hands several times over its lifetime. The helicopter industry is not a particularly high volume one and economic doldrums are felt much more keenly in a manufacturer the size of the 110 strong Enstrom. Technical support for customers is terminated and its factory will be closed as of the 21st. The letter sent to dealers and brand representatives said, quote, I regret to inform you that after 64 years of near continuous operations, Enstrom will be closing its doors January 21st, 2022. Due to several financial difficulties, Enstrom's owners have directed the company to declare a Chapter 7 bankruptcy. Parts, technical support, overhauls, and new aircraft will no longer be available from the factory. In addition, all existing contracts and agreements will become null and void. Finally, all employees, including the senior management team, will be terminated." End quote. After the break, 19-year-old becomes youngest woman to fly the globe solo. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit flyskyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. At Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some other interesting stories. 19-year-old becomes youngest woman to fly the globe solo. Zara Rutherford, 19, has officially completed her around-the-world flight and become the youngest woman in history to complete the voyage alone in a small aircraft. Rutherford took her Shark Arrow Ultralight around the world in 155 days, or just over five months. Zara said she wants to encourage young women to pursue their dreams and reduce the gender gap in aviation, as well as in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. The young woman set off from Belgium in August 2021. Shell releases Carbon Neutral 100 LL Avgas. Shell's aviation brand has delivered the first truckload of its new aviation fuel product, Carbon Neutral 100 LL Avgas. Shipped to large distributor AvFuel, Shell hopes it will be the first of many soon to be available at select FBO sites across the U.S. AvFuel purchased the 7,000-gallon payload with carbon credits, offsetting 75 metric tons of CO2 emissions. Carbon neutrality as a marketing tool is not new to aviation, being used in larger, more expensive business and passenger-focused aviation. About time, NTSB tells FAA to require CO detectors in GA aircraft. The NTSB has called on the FAA for the second time, no less, to require carbon monoxide detectors in GA aircraft, the agency said in a safety recommendation report released this week. The NTSB identified 31 accidents between 1982 and 2020 attributed to CO poisoning. 23 of those accidents were fatal, killing 42 people and seriously injuring four more. A CO detector was found in only one of the airplanes, and it was not designed to provide an active audible or visual alert to the pilot features the NTSB also recommended. 
Last of the Eurocopter AS-365 Dolphins delivered. The last of the Dolphin family of helicopters has left the factory with more than 1,100 built since its introduction 40 years ago. Throughout its life, the type has racked up more than 7 million flight hours across 70 countries. The AS-365 has been superseded by the Airbus H-160, but will likely remain in service for decades more. The final Dolphin was delivered to the Spanish Customs Service, where it will join the two of its brethren in their duties. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Dornier buys Flywheel. Dornier Sea Wings has purchased the Flywheel Seaplane program from its German parent Uniplanes GmbH in a package that includes all intellectual property, production assets, design data, drawings, manuals, tooling, and molds. The acquisition positions the Flywheel FW650 as a future Dornier product in line with the company's Sea Wings and Seasar CD2 aircraft as the DS2C. Dornier says an eVTOL jet-powered version is also in early development to enter the air mobility market. The flywheel has been in the works since 2013 as a two-abreast amphibious sport aircraft. The small, lightweight flying boat's design includes just enough berthing space within for two people to sleep in the fuselage, should they choose to camp out on the water. The flywheel is powered by a lightweight, top-mounted Rotax 912 IS with newer updates and modifications on the way under Dornier's stewardship. The company says the DS-2C will also act as the base of a research platform to enter the advanced air mobility segment as the DS-2CX eVTOL. As Dornier digests the program, future updates will be released as the company follows on their unlimited runways approach, boasting access to seaside cities lacking sufficient landing space on land. After these messages, Hollywood plans another studio in space. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Pilot Communications USA is proud to introduce our latest headsets, the Carbon A1 Active Noise Reduction and the Carbon P1 Passive Headset. Carbon Fiber makes our headsets 30% lighter than others, which significantly reduces pilot fatigue. Our Blue Link Hand Control Unit allows you to connect two devices at the same time, and the Record Out capability can send audio to an onboard camera or digital recorder. Get the headset that's so light you may forget you're wearing one at pilot-usa.com. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Welcome back. Hollywood plans another studio in space. The battle for market supremacy in space continues and a new front is seeing competition. Entertainment studios in low Earth orbit. Space 11, working with Voyager space company NanoRacks, hopes to complete a free-flying space station that will function as a soundstage in zero gravity. The announcement follows similar news from another business, Space Entertainment Enterprise, set to co-produce an upcoming Tom Cruise movie. Their partner in station engineering is Axiom Space, another NASA contractor who has built modules on the ISS. Space 11 hit the scene in April of 2021. Space 11 believes viewers will love high-concept, zero-gravity productions on its Space 11 city, the hub for all things entertainment above. Their zero-gravity combat arts competition, Galactic Combat, was the first concept to catch the world's attention, wherein 40 fighters from around the world will come together to perfect the art of free-floating mixed martial arts. The project will be the start, says Space 11, eventually offering photography, sports, and even soundstage work on the station. Exact specs have not been disclosed, but its size should be impressive if it will accommodate all the personnel needed for an active film set. The module has been named the S11S. Well, that's our program for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, and Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.